Got my pistol on me, quit flashing your flashlight Wait, your license registration My license registration, hey Trying to send me to the fucking immigration The fucking immigration, hey Hey, what's up world? It's your girl Brittany and today I'm here with somebody that's very special. Kat G, what's going hey, on? What's happening? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm so glad to be in your presence. Oh man, I'm happy to be in yours. Um, so I've been listening to your music for some time now. Yeah. Um, but everybody I guess is really getting a chance to know you because of like the recent events that are going on in American history. And your song, La Policia. Mm -hmm. um, and you got David Banner and T.I. to remix the track. Yeah, the homies. And you guys were on CNN. Yeah. Y'all was spitting that like intelligent shit about <laughs> progressive positivity and equality for all black and brown people in America. Yeah. Um, tell me about when you initially wrote that song. Because you wrote that song years ago. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah, I wrote the song about a year or two years ago. And um, it was just basically. I got pulled over by the police, uh, being racially profiled. You know, I ain't even do nothing. And they just pulled us over, it was me and my two brothers want to check us. They were just doing too much and I just felt like it was unfair. So the next day I went into the studio and I made the song. Tell me about when you first started rapping. Yeah, um, when I first started, I was like probably about 13. I was in the ninth grade. And growing up in Atlanta, like it's a big local scene. Like mm -hmm. everybody rapped there, so it's like, we built, me and my partners, we built up a little studio and apartment and we just started rap, rapping from there. Kept yeah. Going. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me about growing up because you're the son of Mexican immigrants, right? Yeah. Um, how was, that's always like an interesting story and uh -huh. perspective to get from people who, um, children of immigrants, mm -hmm. right? Because you have like all these like standards and expectations that your parents kind of yeah. put on you because they're here trying to make it and they're not going to let you fall by the wayside. Yeah. So they're like super on your ass all the time. Yeah. Tell me about what was it like growing up with your um, parents? So growing up, uh, you know, it was, my family always struggled, but you know, for me, I just kept going. You know, being, and also I grew up in College Park, you know, it's a mostly majority black community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I grew up with two different cultures. Okay, so tell me, like, what's one thing, I guess, that you want everybody to know about Cap G? Um, I want everybody to know about me. I'm playing in this new movie, it's called Dope. It comes out June 19th. Go, go check that out, for real. Yes, wait, I saw Dope. You, you were the it? connect. Yeah, you see? Yeah. It? yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. I totally forgot that you were in the movie. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of rappers that yeah, in that yeah. movie that made cameos. Obviously, like ASAP Rocky, but uh, was it was it Vince Staples? Yeah, Vince Staples. Vince Staples is in there. Tiger. Tiger was in there. Chasing veggies, like. A lot of people that yeah. were in that movie that you know just made like little cameos. Yeah. Um, and then you played the connect. You kind of had. Ooh, you had the guns. Yeah, I had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> How was that, like your first acting experience? Oh man, that was cool. You know, I'm not really an actor, but everybody from the team, from Dope, they were telling me I did good. You yeah. know, before I seen the movie, they were saying like, man, you did so great. You know, I'm like, all right, I did okay. Yeah. But when I seen the movie, it was like, damn, I did, I did a great job. Like, you know, I can, so I, can be, yeah, I can be an actor. So now I'm looking more into acting now. Yeah. You know? But I'm always gonna put rap first. <laughs> and Pharrell called you the future. Yeah, that's the big bro. Shout out to Pharrell, my bro, man. Um, is he helping you out on your new project or? Uh, not my new project. He gonna be on my album though, but um, he definitely gives me direction and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's not like producing or nothing. He's not gonna be featuring on it. Cause I just feel like Pharrell, I mean, he's a mega, he's a superstar, you know? So I feel like I just wanna earn it more. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be too easy. Yeah. Um, what is it, I guess, kind of like, I guess, being in the studio with Pharrell? Like, I heard he's like, he's like what? magic. What? <laughs> I was just uh, out in LA with him. Uh, I went out there just telling what's up. Uh, Diddy was in there, and um, yeah, he was just working, man. Like, he just, he'll make the beat, he'll play it, and he'll just start vibing, like, just, like, really freestyling his head, like, get the instant, hey, hey, boom, boom, boom. Go in the booth, lay it down. Like, bro, be working. And the rest of history. I'm talking about, like, I remember we, we worked about, we had about three sessions, like, two years ago. Like, he had three sessions going on at one time. <laughs> he was walking in my studio, then he'll go work with Justin. 
then he'll go work with Justin Bieber, then he'll go work with Jeremiah. Like, he was just working, man. He was working. So, like, what's your biggest fear with this music shit? Like, getting rich and shit, and, like, forgetting, like, just kind of getting lost in it, you mm -hmm. know? Like, because I think that really affects your music, you know? Like, now, you know, I'm making a little money, but it's like, I stay grounded, though, because I still go back where I'm from, you know? So I feel like as long as I continue to do me and stay the same person, I'm gonna be good. Cause yeah. you know how like sometimes people get real big and then their music starts sucking. Like I'm trying to make sure I stay right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what can we expect from Cat G in 2015? 2015, you can expect my EP. It's called El Southside. Um, you can expect, like I said, Dope the Movie, June 19th. I'm gonna be in that. And yeah, you can just spit new music, man. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you ever worry about, though, promoting, like, stereotypes? Because nah, your song, like, um, a Mexican, is yeah. kind of like... You've heard people say that, and sometimes they don't say it in a positive way. Yeah, see, when I say my things, I'm talking about it in a real way. Because mm -hmm. I really do... I talk about stereotypes on purpose because I feel like, you know, I could say, like, people stereotype with, like, we cut grass, we be deep in the house. You know, but I feel like it's reasons why we do that. You know, it ain't just like to do it, you know? Like we try to save money, you know what I'm saying? People got low income jobs, we cut the grass, we do jobs that people don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And it's because like we come here as illegal and it's like those are the only jobs we can get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I even said in um, Fuck La Policia, I was like, my uncle he illegal, my uncle he illegal. Like, you know, he got a job as a, and that's real, you know, he got a job as cutting the grass, but it's like, every time he drive, he got to worry about the police because he ain't got no license, he ain't got his papers, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But he just trying to take care of his family. Right. That's all. Um, how is that anxiety, I guess, of being an illegal, I don't even like to call it illegal immigrant, I say, I like to say undocumented. Mm -hmm. An undocumented immigrant. Um, like how is that does that anxiety like affect your family a lot or has it has there been situations where people have gotten caught and yeah um man i feel like honestly like my family they probably just like my mom and dad they probably just used to it now because mm -hmm. like i remember since i've been little i can like remember recalling like my mom or dad they'd be on the phone like oh so and so he just got deported so and so like i hear that all the time so it's like i'm sure they used to it you know and me that's why I talk about it in my music. Like, it, it needs, you know, I need to say, I need to relay this message to everybody. So I talk about it. And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Count G, and you watching globalgrind.com. She is hilarious, but what I will say, Miley is not dumb. Tears to your eyes. And um, that separates me from a lot of artists, I feel like. I, I tell